Hi, I'm Becca Montgomery. I'm a third year elementary education major here at Warburg, getting endorsements in math and reading. Hi, I'm Michaela Daly. I'm a second year elementary education major here at Warburg, and I'm getting endorsements in middle school math, science, and reading. Today, we're gonna to be sharing our introductory Ioponics lesson plan for high school students, as well as how we set up our high school sized system. Due to COVID-19 and other health and safety precautions, we are not going to be teaching this lesson to a classroom full of students. We currently have 30 lesson plans designed for students from kindergarten through 12th grade. We have 10 elementary lessons, 10 middle school lessons, and 10 high school lessons that are all aligned with IELTS Core, Next Generation Science Standards, and Agriculture Standards to help teachers integrate STEAM into the classroom. There are two size systems for these lessons. There is a smaller one gallon system for elementary lessons and a larger 25 gallon system for middle and high school lessons. The system behind us is our 25 gallon tank that we use for middle school and high school students. While we're setting it up with them, we fill the tank with water first and let it sit to warm up to room temperature. While the water is warming up, we add plants and clay pellets to the goat trough. The clay pellets help keep the root systems in place so the plants don't fall over. Once the water is warm enough, we put our fish in the tank. As the fish produce waste, it fills the water with nitrites and ammonia. The water is then pumped up into the clay pellets where they go through an aerobic reaction that turns the nitrites into nitrates. The nitrates help the plants grow and the water is cycled back down to the fish. This cycle helps keep the water healthy for both the plants and the animals. This is a one gallon system that we use for elementary lessons. We also use this system in our college biology education class. To begin setting up the system, we first fill the bottom of a recycled jar with rocks. Then we pour in water and let it adjust to room temperature. Typically, we then add in two guppies to get acclimated to their new environment. You can use any small fish, but we continue to find success with guppies. Finally, we add propagated plant clippings to the top of the jar. It typically takes about two weeks for a plant clipping to propagate enough and grow a root system that is capable of sustaining the guppies. To propagate these plant clippings, we take clippings and put them into water and let them sit for about two weeks. These systems can survive sustainably for up to five years and be completely self-sufficient, being the guppies eat off of the plant roots. In our larger systems, the fish do not have access to the plant roots, so they need to be fed once a day. With sustainability in mind, we use recycled jars from food service for our smaller systems and recycled wood for our larger systems. We want to make this as cost-effective as we can for the teachers using them to incorporate STEAM into their classrooms. We will be attaching the introductory Ioponics lesson plans with our submission. Thank you all so much for your time and consideration.